LinkedIn is an awesome website for making and maintaining useful professional connections with individuals from all over the globe. This website makes it super easy for professional networking and for finding high quality career opportunities. In this video, I am going to show you how to use LinkedIn to your professional advantage. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network and being a professional networking site, it allows its users to create personalized professional profiles and explore numerous professional opportunities. In December of 2016, Microsoft completed its acquisition of LinkedIn, bringing the world's leading professional cloud and the world's leading professional network together. Today, I will be explaining the LinkedIn concept, how to access LinkedIn, how to set up your LinkedIn profile, how to navigate the LinkedIn um, web user interface, and lots more. Now, if this sounds good to you, then let's do this, shall we? So to begin with, it is pertinent for you to know that as a company, LinkedIn has the vision to create economic opportunities for every member of the global workforce. And its mission is simple, to connect the world's professionals to make them more productive and successful. So you should have this behind your mind when you're learning about LinkedIn. It's all about you, the professional, becoming productive and successful. So first off, let's talk about the interesting concept they are applying over at LinkedIn and what makes this worthwhile. So LinkedIn uses an amazing concept that works well in connecting professionals together, working much like the six degrees of separation concept. This is the idea that people are six or less social connections away from each other. So what this insinuates is that you can actually connect with anyone in the world using the idea of the friend of a friend. So what this means is that I can simply connect to anyone in the world using a maximum of six steps. All right, this is also commonly referred to as the six handshakes rule. So basically, I have a friend and I am connected to this friend. And this friend naturally has a circle of friends, right? So I can connect through my friend to one of his friends, just establishing the first handshake, or shall we say the friend of my friend. It becomes very interesting. In his circle of friends, each friend also has a circle of friends, right? So I'm sure you get where this is going. It even gets more and even super interesting. So what this rule is saying is that with just six or less handshakes or friend of friend connection, you can connect to anyone on LinkedIn in anywhere in the world. For me, with just under six connections, I can get connected to my friend Elon Musk. That's if I'm not yet already connected to him. <laughs> Such an awesome concept, right? So let's go and be free and make these very important, amazing professional connections. But before getting too excited, you need to first be a user to be able to use this amazing network. So how do you gain access to this amazing network? Well, there are various ways of doing this. You can either access it using your web browser, which could be on your mobile phone or on your computer. Something we'll be loosely calling LinkedIn web, or you can access it using the LinkedIn dedicated app on your mobile phone, either on an Android phone or an iOS phone which we'll be calling LinkedIn Mobile. We'll be using LinkedIn Web for all our demonstrations for this um, video. And if you want to learn how to install and use the mobile version of LinkedIn, then check out the link popping up right about now. So for LinkedIn Web, let's just go to Google and search um, for LinkedIn, all right? Click on the link that takes you to the LinkedIn website, all right? Just as we get to the site, we will first be greeted by welcome to our professional community, right? Okay, there are tons of features that LinkedIn offers. Um, you can search for a job or you can find a person you know or you can even learn a new skill explore topics that interest you find the correct job or internship and if you are a recruiter you can even post your job for millions of people to see you can even suggest to anyone looking to hire people that you are available and are open to work now there are lots and lots of amazing features that you can use to create opportunities for yourself and i'm sure by now you are super excited and you're ready to have a go at this service right but not so fast you will need to set up uh, your LinkedIn account first, okay? Now, just like any other serial service on the web, you must sign up to have a profile, okay? Um, so we can just um, scroll down to the very end, okay? And click on Get Started uh, button. It will bring you to this web page that requests for your email and password, okay? Uh, then you click Agree to Join after you have entered all of that. Okay, please note that the password that is requested here is the new password for LinkedIn, okay? Do not use the same password for your email account. Some of us are not very security conscious and so we have only one password for every account that we have on the World Wide Web. Now, the danger here is that once that password becomes compromised, you can get into serious trouble. 
and you may not know about this until it's too late. So the password here is the new password for LinkedIn, all right? Or even if you have a Google account, all right, uh, you might just want to do an express um, sign up. Then you can click on continue with um, Google. And if you already have a LinkedIn account, then you only simply need to sign in, all right? I will just enter one of my emails here and then enter a new password. Remember, not my Gmail password. And then click on agree and join. Then enter your first and last name and then click on continue. Now, they will need to do a quick security check by sending you a security code. So enter your country and um, a phone number and hit on submit. Now, go ahead and enter the code um, sent to your mobile, then hit on um, submit. Now, the key to being successful on LinkedIn lies on how you set up your profile. Consider your profile like your CV. Your CV will help you to discover new important people and also lots of opportunities. So next, enter your most recent job title. Now, for me, you know I'm a teacher, right? So I'll just put that in and then I'm working full time. Okay, and then I'm in a university, all right. Now, you see that I am not feeding in specific information. Now, instead of specifying the university and my job, I just put in teacher and university, <laughs> all right. Now, you see how this will in turn affect what I do from here. This will show you how important it is to set up your profile very, very well. Then, let's hit on next. Now, I'm looking for a job, yes, yes. What kind of job? <laughs> okay. Here you can put as many as five job titles and locations. So for me, it's um, health informatics, you all know. And then uh, let me add the health informatics um, specialist. Um, also, let me put faculty lecturer. And I think I'll put it at three. Then for job locations, Nigeria, America, and um, Canada. Okay, awesome. Now you see that the system has automatically created three job alerts from my entries that match what I'm looking for. Very, very brilliant, all right? And I can now add more later or change it whenever I want, okay? So what happens here is that anytime there's a job opening that's fitting these descriptions, then I will get a notification to check it out. This is super awesome, right? Okay, let's move on. Here, you can decide to let recruiters know whether you're open for new jobs or not. So some companies use the LinkedIn recruiter service. So if you have, um, this setup and you put it on they can easily find you then we we'll just click on next here you have an offer to get the app uh, to stay connected on the go so you can just scan the code with your mobile phone or you can simply get a text with a link on your phone by um, clicking that text me the link instead you'll need to put in your country and your phone number okay and then you get an SMS link on your phone that allows you to install the LinkedIn app on your mobile. Now, if you want to watch a full video on how to set up uh, the mobile app, then click on this link here. Um, and otherwise, we'll simply just skip and continue with our profile um, setup, okay? Now, if you notice, at this stage, the system knows a little about me already, right? All right? And thus, it has already started suggesting connections. So since it's a networking site, each other person is called a connection. All right. So remember, I didn't put in specifics at the beginning, right? If I had been a little more specific by now, it will have made suggestions of people that I know and have even similar interests um, with me. So let's look at these um, suggestions and see if uh, there's anyone I may like to um, connect with. Okay. Yeah, this is a prof. He looks like a cool guy. And on top of that, he's a DVC. Okay. So uh, then this is someone to a lecturer uh, and the researcher. Good. So we take that. And yes, this guy looks like a nice guy too. <laughs> all right. So he's a lecturer in Sokoto State University. And that's awesome. So I'll add all these three people. And next, you can also follow people or companies to stay updated with their uh, posts. And uh, you can see LinkedIn is already suggesting based on my profile entry. You can select courses, follow people, and so much more, okay? After selecting the individuals you want to um, follow, then we just click on next. And then finally, we'll go to the main page. And this is the main page for LinkedIn, LinkedIn user interface. Now, let me quickly walk you through the main user interface. LinkedIn has a very simple but intuitive user interface. To your extreme left, you will see the LinkedIn logo, all right? Clicking on this logo takes you to the home page. Now, on the home page, there are lots of things that are going on here, all right? First off, you can use this opportunity to update your profile, okay? This is very important as, like I said earlier, your profile is like your CV, all right? 
In fact, it is even your CV to the world, all right? So put it up uh, properly. Directly below this is where you can put up a post. Now, if you want important professionals to start noticing you, don't just go around posting your selfies like you do on Facebook. This is not Facebook, all right? Remember, this is a professional networking site. Your next employer may just be looking through your profile, all right? So it's advisable that you post things that are relevant to your network, all right? You can post a photo, a video, an announcement for an upcoming event. You can even write an article, all right? Now, if you're gaining value in this video, then make a post about this video and share the link with your network. This may even make you become noticed by some of my important friends. And believe me, I have some important friends that you would want to connect with. Friend of a friend, remember? Okay, so the next is the search bar. If you want to find anything on LinkedIn, you can use the search bar, all right? Then there's the actual home button. Now, the logo serves the same purpose and from after the um, home button you can now see my network this one allows you to manage your network connection so on this page you can check all your connections you can add personal contacts you can follow people all right you can join professional groups and lots more okay just explore it and use it to your advantage okie dokie artichoke the next is uh jobs all right this is a very important page and lots of people are actually on linkedin just because of these um functionalities all right so lots of individuals have gotten jobs through linkedin and you too can land your dream job please put in the comments if you know anyone who has gotten a job through linkedin so on this page you can see suggested uh job searches and based on my profile entry so you can see um that LinkedIn is suggesting based on what my profile entry is. So I suggest to you to put up your profile very well. Then one important area to look at is also the recommended uh, for you section, all right? Man, believe me, <laughs> you will see a lot of interesting stuff if you look at this. Okay, okay, like look at this one, all right? If I have this kind of job, <laughs> I'll probably even stop teaching. <laughs> all right, I'm just, I'm just joking, all right? Uh, I'll, I'll stop teaching and just ride into the sunset. <laughs> all right, so search and play around with it and you're bound to find very interesting stuff. Next is messaging, all right? LinkedIn can be used as a messaging platform where you can send and receive instant messages, okay? Now, this message could be in form of text, emojis, pictures, videos, links, etc. You can even attach documents and send. Uh, this is a very, very interesting feature, all right? I currently don't have any messages because it's a new account. Now, one thing you should know also is that you cannot send messages to individuals that are outside your network when you're using the free version. But if you're using the premium version, that means you've paid for it, you can send messages to whoever you please. All right, next off is the notification page and here you will see notifications that concerns you. So you can check that regularly and notifications can be from your connections, uh, from individuals or from organizations that you follow. And last is uh, the me button, okay? Uh, that one allows you to manage your account and your profile in general. Now just try it out and see. And this is where you also sign out. Remember, you have to sign out if you're not using your own computer. Now, before we wrap this up, this LinkedIn introductory tutorial will not be complete if I don't mention some of these special features. Now, if you look at the extreme right, okay, you will see another button called work. Okay, this is where you need to explore to see other LinkedIn products and amazing business services that LinkedIn offers. Now, be sure to check them out. For example, let's go to this one, it says salary, okay? Here you can see your potential earnings. You can actually search for jobs and companies in different locations and you can specify the locations and see how much you could potentially earn if you landed um, such jobs. You can also drill down to get the full picture okay or even check salary by company size by field of study or by educational level super awesome right all right that's cool so in summary i have been able to demonstrate that linkedin is a very powerful tool that you can use to afford yourself with professional opportunities that will help you boost your career i've also been able to demonstrate the different functionalities and the different settings that you can use for this powerful linkedin tool now if you have gained value in this video don't forget to share this video all right in fact you should share this video right now on linkedin so as to help your professional network to know the value of this important tool now most people are using linkedin but they don't know all the powerful functions that linkedin have all these functions that i've discussed now let's see what happens if each person watching this video shares it on their linkedin profile the sharing starts with you all right and before i forget if you are new to this channel and have not yet subscribed then a sub to this channel will be highly professional of you in our next video god willing i am going to show you how to set up a killer profile on linkedin and use it to strengthen your professional network
But until then, peace.